Hello, this is Solvent HD, and I'm just going to do the knife challenge, where I can only use a knife. I'm not going to get any perks. I'm not going to get a gumball, buy any gumballs at all. I'm just going to use my knife. No perks, no gumballs, no guns, just my knife. I've never... The last time I've done this was probably World of War and Derise, Derise, whatever you want to call it. That's the last time I've done it, so I'm not so sure on how well I would do on this one, but we'll find out. I feel a bit confident doing this, but so I do t get tend to go around as knives and zombies. I just add to that for the sake of it. I don't even think I've got even any camo on my bow knife, but find out. At least try and get some if I actually manage to get up to that round. Alright, I'll stay in here for a couple of rounds. I don't know what I'm going to do for the dogs round, because they're going to kill me quite quickly. So I need to really rank up them points, try and get as many double points, and before round five, at least try and get boy knife, I think. But better not get hit double here and then be, be quite careful alright see if this what it gives me better give me something decent come on double points double points double points uh, that's what not, I don't really want I kind of want the points more than anything instead of just yeah so I'm just going to run around I'm not going to knife any zombies so Hopefully I try and don't go down. Right, let's run around. This room is really small and hard to run around in. If you get trapped in the corner, you're kind of screwed, to be honest. I don't, uh, just risk it. Well, I need to get at least 5k. 6k points before I can move on so I know I can actually buy all the doors there and then actually then go buy the bowie knife before oh shit oh, I should be fine just keep knife down alright I say I'll probably get around 10 Never do actually. I've never actually done it, so I guess round ten. But hopefully round ten. See if I do any better. If I do, it'd be quite a nice surprise, I guess. But oh, yeah. I might even do some other challenges. There's quite a few. There's one where you. There's books for it, which is pretty much. I think every other round you can spin the mystery box. And I think you kind of pack a punch every five rounds, I believe, or something like that. I need to look it up. But it is one I want to do, which is called I Don't Drink, where I can't drink any parts or anything. I'd literally just go survive. I can, if I play the eyes and draft, I can actually go and get the bow and do the Easter egg. And if I get the bow, I can actually survive longer, but then. I can't get any parks or anything, so I could probably go down quite quickly. So I've just got to be careful with that. Uh, done quite a few sniper challenges, really. Um, I could even go and like pack a punch every single gun and see which one's the best to pack a punch. Because this ma this map is easy to pack a punch on compared to uh, Shadow's Evil, because. You've got to do so much just to pack a punch on that map, and it just does drag. There's something that I used to call, I watched Syndicate do a lighthouse challenge where from round seven, you've got to have a gun for the mystery box and be in a lighthouse, and you've got to stay in a lighthouse as long as you can. I think it, <coughs> I think he said every five rounds, you can go to the box once all the pack a punch ones you can't leave the lighthouse at all so i'm tempted to do it on this 
but I can't leave some type of building. Maybe the could be the spawn. If not, I maybe not I need some kind of small loads of stairs. Won't be the basement where all the other stuff is. Need somewhere better than that. So it's probably where sort of hand is. That's the best bit I can say to do that challenge, but overall I think it'd be quite fun. If you've got any recommendations, just let me know and I will do it. As I enjoy publishing zombie videos because I enjoy them and I, I I would love to get better at them. Or even online, like one round with just a knife and see how well I do in like FIFA or something. I haven't really played online for a while because my internet at mine is awful. So it takes ages. I'm always on one bar connection when I play online. So I shoot someone and then I get hit markers and I die. Because the bullet recognition recognition? You know what I'm trying to say. Doesn't really work. It takes a while to the bullets to recognise that I'm actually trying to shoot the player. So I don't even play online at mine. Unless if I go to my girlfriend's high internet is quite quick, I can play online, I can do everything. I'd like to say I'm good at Call of Duty, but I'm not too sure. It's down to you guys' opinion, but I do enjoy playing it. I would say I'm quite good, but I don't want to be beat. I don't want to be too big headed about it or whatever. Right. Ugh. I should be going in a second to try and get five, five, six k. Probably five, and I'll probably have a girl. It's gonna get a bit hard now. Four nice kills to the amount of zombies are running after me. Ugh. The no parts, whatever. So I'll probably go down like double points, which is good for me. But I can't shoot them as a knife only, so I've got pretty much knife as quick as I can without getting killed, I guess. Hopefully I won't go down. Hate this bit out here though, because they can, keep, they can come over the bridge or anything. Come over the bridge, window, or either the other window. They can come from like five, six different ways. Right. That's 5k. Uh, I'm gonna go buy the Bowie knife and see how well I do that. Right. Activate that. I'll probably later on buy the barriers because then it'd be easier for me to get down and if I'm in a rush and training zombies and they're after me, I'll just jump down. It's easier to do that than get stuck in a corner and have to run all the way around, I presume. Alright, back that on. Okay, right, let's get the bow enough. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it don't even have one, any camo on it at all. Well, this is the first time I actually used a bowie knife on this. Black Ops, I think. Normally I use them like all the other Black Ops, I haven't really had the choice because all the guns are quite powerful and I'm happy with just using another gun, to be honest. This will be really, really easy to run around one knife in the zombies. If they get to a bit of pickle, when I have two knives, but that shouldn't be any time soon anyway. Dogs, I bet easily kill the dogs, so no rush. I don't know how long I survive. It's round five. Buy knife is one knife till 15, I would think, so I'm not too sure, but if it is, that'll be fine. I don't need to worry about that. Probably die by then anyway. Alright. Right. I think I'm okay. Not too mad of a rush. To be honest, I should just go and kill all the zombies below the dragons, the iron dragon heads, just so I get the bow to hold but not really use. But then technically, surely you can't use the arrow, can you? Nah. Not sure. Does the, ammo do, does the arrow on the bow and arrow does more damage? I'm not, I'm not really sure, I need to test out the win. Sure, it'll be the same, right? Buy this, and then buy that 
one. I don't know how much. That damaged me if I jump down. Oh uh, shit. If that killed me as soon as I fell down, I would be peed off. Alright. Let me just jump down to see if it does any slightest of the damage now. Alright, oh, it's dogs now. So, this should be fine. Hopefully it's one knife kill. If they keep hit, if two spawn and one at me at the same time, they both hit me. I think I'm kind of fucked. So I've got to be careful and time the knife in the right so I don't knife before the light. Make sure I knife every time. Round six. Uh, haven't we really been close to death? And that my sama really did help me out. Really? Right. Through this round as quick as I can. I might do some Fallout gameplay or whatever soon, but that, I don't, not not many people are really into watching Fallout gameplay. To be honest, I enjoy playing Fallout and pretty much just flying around with the jetpack and see where I can actually get to. I'm, I'm thinking about activating the gravity Easter egg. Not really easy, it's egg, part of the easy egg you have to do. Uh, it's kind of getting a bit hectic here. kind of need a rough idea on how I'm going to do this without getting down or whatever. I don't know how I'm even going to kill the big guy yet. If he does come, and if I'm still alive, I'm not sure how I'm going to kill him. I need to kind of think of an idea. This is what I hate. Being out here, just just climb over the bridge. You can come out the doorway right there. You can come out right in front of me everywhere. So I've just got to be really careful. I don't want this. Just got to be really careful on how I'm gonna avoid getting caught by zombies or getting hit. If two zombies hit me at the same time, I might even go just go down. So I need. Oh, okay, that helped me. I need a plan. I need an E game. Damn, Daniel. Right. I'm not sure if the big guy comes, I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do. Oh shit. That was a bit close. I thought it was the beginning of the next round. Nah. Got a little spinners. So that was cool, yeah, okay. Uh, nah. I was gonna do that <coughs> gravity, the zero gravity thing, but that's kind of like cheating, surely. I mean, I just do it this way: original knife only challenge. And I want to see how well I can actually do with this. I'm quite chuffed. I'm around eight already. And I've got seven K points. I don't need any points. All I need the points for is like a new knife. But where? Don't need another knife, I'm fine. I still got to start a pistol. Oh shit, shit. Just get out of here. Get out of the way, Jorgen. Right. See what I'm about, they're going to come out everywhere. Oh shit. Kind of need to run around. Try not to get caught. Shit. I don't think I'm going to survive much longer, to be honest. Oh, fuck. Like that. I could just see myself going down any moment now. I've got two bright screen. Nearly died. Nearly dead. Nearly died twice this game. Oh, three times I'm going to make it. Got a bit, you know, cookie right there. Should have just ran past and had a chance. <laughs> This is getting challenging. I'm, just, I'm gonna try and push around ten at least. Know, that really helps me out, doesn't it? Could have got me a bloody nuke or something. I'm still round eight. Where's the last zombie? Must be somewhere. They always hide. Hello? Anyone down here? Nope. Okay. Okay. Alright. Fuck is a zombie. Hello. 
I just I like how the car and everything is just flying up. It does look quite good. Uh, actually, oh, hello. Alright, got that guy. Alright, stay in here for another round before the big guy comes. It's far not go as bad as much this time. There we go. Finally got another camo on my gun. A gun. A knife. A knife. A knife got a camo. Right. Shit. So many of them. I'm gonna get in a bit. I need a bigger area to run around. Because the corners and everything are quite tight. I'm not sure how I'm gonna keep doing this for a while. Uh, make sure no zombies come behind me, just gotta keep knifing them and literally just be focused on how we're gonna do this. Your time on Earth is at an end. Right. Fucking hell. I shouldn't I should not keep walking out here. Yes it's easy to run around. Yeah, they do need help me, but it's easy to walk around, yeah, but then they can come from different angles. It'd be fine if they can only come from one place, but Alright. If the big guy comes, he's got the claw, doesn't he? So if I open this bit, pretty much if you shoot him with this claw right there, if you shoot him with it, normally it will land on the platform and you can either knife it or fly into him and kill him. I don't know if you can get it down by knifing it or by the looks of it, it's not working. Oh! Oh shit, you can. Shit. Alright, so if he, I need to take him down all this way, this route, the entire way. So if he comes down this way, all I have to do is run, make make sure he's in the line of that, his claw. Kind of from the guy from Origins, like he got buried. This must be like Origins burial site, to be honest, but I'm not sure. Must be. Because if his claw is there, that means the guy was originally there and he died, because what happened I'm not so sure but if it's close there something must have happened to him because he can't use it just by like electricity I guess right. uh, oh shit I'm just thinking what to do because this is good round 10 it's getting quite busy now quite busy a bit fucking zombified uh, I can make this. Oh, just fucking hell. Just kind of took my time. But I'm going up together. I hate to have that two knife kills now more than anything. I'm not gonna. Oh fuck! All right, so about it, guys. Well, if you enjoyed it, just comment, subscribe, and like. Tell me how I done recommend anything I can do like different challenges or whatever just let me know sorry that I managed to die around 10 really like to get to around like 12 or whatever but anyway catch you later guys peace out